Hi there folks, Andrew here at Chatfuel. Today I'm super excited to share with you a new template that we've just approved in our Chatfuel marketplace. But before I do, I want to remind you down below this video, give it a thumbs up, a like. I say this because it really helps us out with sharing this valuable information with other people on this wonderful thing that we call the internet. So again, give this video a brief thumbs up, takes half a second, totally free, really helps us out. But all that boring disclaimer aside, let's dive in and show you the value of this template, which by the way, was created by our amazing community member, Alessandro. So huge shout out to him for putting this together. Everybody watching this video, whether you're doing lead generation or sending out e-commerce lead magnets, it will be valuable to you, I promise. So how do you get this thing? That's the big question. It's totally free and it's available within our template marketplace, which is within the chat fuel dashboard. So what that looks like in simple terms is go over here under the new category, you'll see this beaming yellow icon here that says verify phone number, click on that select use template and then it'll copy that to your account. Now before I show you the back end of this, just a little brief explanation of how this works. So typically when you're doing any sort of lead gen or lead capture in Chatfuel, obviously it's very easy for the user just to enter a phone number and then we'll give you a 20% off discount on your first order, let's say. So all that's well and good, but it can be problematic in some cases. Let's say that somebody is just entering a random phone number to get that discount, and then you're not really benefiting from that interaction. They're getting the coupon code, but you're not getting accurate data from that customer, so you can reach out in the future and really strengthen your omni-channel marketing efforts. So, long story short, what this template does is once the user provides their phone number, it will then send them a text message with a one-time passcode, also called an OTP, as you see on the screen here, this six-digit code. And then once they receive that, they enter it back in Chatfuel. Chatfuel will prompt them to enter it. And then once it's determined that, hey, this person actually has this phone because they've entered this unique code, then the bot will proceed and give them that discount or continue the conversation in whatever fashion you would like. So that's at a high level conceptually how this works. And now let's show you how to customize it in Chatfuel. Super, super simple. Honestly, again, Alessandro is a superstar here. It couldn't be any easier. So I've already copied this to my account. I'm going to switch tabs here and show you what this looks like. Again, takes 30 seconds or less to customize. It is almost too simple. So here we go. We have the welcome message. This is really just extraneous information, but it's telling you how the bot works. What you need to be concerned with is just this group here called OTP. Again, that means one time passcode. It's that numerical or alphanumerical code we're sending the user so they can verify that they indeed own the phone of the phone number that they're entering. If you are done customizing this, all you need to do is click these three dots right here and choose copy so that then you can copy this to your larger bot that you're working on or you could create your own bot from this template but more than likely you're going to copy this small feature here into a larger bot that you're working on. Okay, so we got all that out of the way, all the housekeeping and logistics. Now let's show you how to customize this or just how the flow works. So this is the first block that users are gonna see you have the save user phone number plugin. This will prompt the user with their phone number. It will suggest it in the form of a quick reply. So the user literally just clicks that, taps it, and we've captured their phone number. Now in this case, it's very likely that that phone number is gonna be accurate, but if you wanted to, you could also use the user input plugin or the save user input plugin, which allows the user to manually enter a phone number as well. But either way, regardless of what plugin you're using, we now are saving this to an attribute called phone. And then we're going to send this to a JSON API. And this is beautiful because there's no customization required here. You literally just use this JSON API as is, and you're good to go essentially. So the user provides their phone number. We're then sending it to Integromat, which is like Zapier. It's this third party tool that allows us to communicate between Chatfuel and the service we're using to send this one time passcode. So they enter the phone number, we send them that passcode, and then it will redirect to this get the code and check block where the user will be prompted to enter in that passcode that we just sent them. And then if that passcode is correct, 
we're going to set an attribute and redirect them to the correct block here. Again, you don't have to worry about how all this actually works. It's done for you. That's the beauty of templates. And then if they enter a code that does not match the one that we sent through Integromat, then it'll send them to this wrong block right here. So if they enter in the wrong code, that's fine. We're just going to say, hey, this is the wrong code. Maybe you entered it in wrong. If that's the case, try again. It will take them through the process again. Or if they're just trying to kind of scam us and enter in a fake number, then obviously they'll get the hint and stop here. Now, if they do enter what we sent in Integromat, that is perfect. We'll send them here, say, hey, great, your code is correct, and you can pass through. Now, obviously, here is where you would want to actually provide that discount, let's say, if you're using this in an e-commerce use case, and you want to provide that incentive since they've successfully held up their end of the deal, so to speak. But obviously, you would replace the imagery here. You probably wouldn't say, hey, the code is correct. Like, Customers don't care about that. Just give them the information that they need, given that you know they've provided the accurate data, the accurate contact information. So that's essentially how this works. There is really not much else to it. Super simple to set up, but again, a great way to ensure the data customers are providing you is effective. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a stellar way to improve your omni-channel marketing efforts. Obviously, chat fuel. Messenger in general should be a core component of your marketing strategy, but we recognize that it shouldn't be the entirety of your marketing campaigns. You should complement it with things like email, SMS messaging, etc. So that's the tutorial, that's the video. Again, huge shout out to Alessandro for making this template and many others, which we will create more video tutorials on in the future. If you like this video, again, please leave a thumbs up, a like down below, and let me know in the comments what lead magnets are you currently using for your e-commerce business or just your business in general. I'm very curious, so comment that down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video, and happy botting.